Well, a double lung transplant patient is getting a new lease on life thanks to an organ donor and 3D printing technology. News 8's Kyle Mitchell shows us the progress that he's, had, he's made. Wayne Morgan is celebrating two years after the surgery, and doctors say he's making great progress. With each step, Wayne Morgan is grateful. Coming to the stretch. For the donor that provided his lungs, along with the doctors and technology that made his surgery possible. Two years ago, I might have been able to walk twice around there and I would have had to sit down. I would have been done. That would have been it. Doctors diagnosed Wayne with advanced pulmonary fibrosis. He was in the hospital for three weeks. Um, you got to kind of use a walker when you're done, it's canes, you have to be seated when you're showering. He was traveling from the Houghton Lake area to Grand Rapids for care and now lives in Heartland on the east side of the state. The first lung considered for the transplant wasn't viable, but on March 27th of 2022, he had a double lung transplant. I'm probably plateaued where I'm going to feel for the rest of my life, which is fine. I'm happy with this. Uh, I do get winded if I do a little too much, but I'm 71, so that's part of it. The lung function certainly came up. Dr. Retta Gurgis, the medical director of the lung transplant program at Corwell Health, examined Wayne and reviewed his tests. He was pleased with the results. At our program, uh, most patients are doing well. Um, so uh, on average, our survival rate right now is um, at five, after five years, uh, it's about 75%, which is a bit above the, um, the average. After the surgery, Wayne had one complication, a narrowing of one of the airways in his right lung. Doctors used new technology to address the issue. Based on the anatomy of the airway and the exact narrowing and location, that information can be uh, transmitted to a program that's then able to print in 3D a custom silicone stent that's specifically designed to fit his airway anatomy uh, perfectly. At the end of the appointment, Wayne got to ring the bell to celebrate two years with his new lungs. He's encouraging more people to become organ donors and says not a day goes by without appreciating his family and his new lease on life. It's just, uh, it's just good to be alive. In Grand Rapids, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.